Hi guys and welcome to what if tutorials today I'm gonna show you how to jump through a portal so here's how you do it you've got your character and you've got your portal now today I'm gonna show you how to animate a portal specifically we're gonna look at the field of view of the camera and so let's get started what if tutorials okay for the purposes of this tutorial I've decided to change a couple of things in the scene and uh, take a took a couple of things away uh, for instance this the character is now played by a sphere whereas the portal is still played by the portal so when I play this now this character is just moving toward uh, it's moving through the portal so now I'm gonna add the collision to this that's basically the script that I'm going to show you before I do that you can just go on to the portal which is called portal good here on the left or in the hierarchy and you'll see on the right here it's got a capsule a capsule collider now this is trigger should be true it has to be true if it's not then this is not going to work because you want to trigger this animation so that's why it has to be true so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a component actually no this is actually quite bad practice to add a component like a script through this add component except if you're uh, adding a rigid body or something like that but that's not what i'm going to add the thing that i'm going to add right now is a script now as you can see in my assets folder it's extremely busy that's why I believe that you have to have order so I've some here here I've got a script file scripts with a lot of scripts in here and basically this whole game is controlled with a hundred and twenty more than a hundred and twenty scripts you have to um, order everything you have to organize it so I'm gonna add a folder over here which is called um, portal animation and inside of this I'm gonna add a C sharp script and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it portal animation so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, a reference in the script to the main car uh, the main camera because what we want to do right now is we want to animate the depth of field, the field of view. And if you go onto your main camera, you'd see it has a component which is called camera. And it has a floating point value with field of view. And this is the thing that you're going to animate right now to make it look cool. So first you need a reference to that. So inside of the script, I'm just going to say... Um, public game object uh, cam and I'm gonna initialize it in the start function cam equals game object dot find main camera so now you have a reference to your camera and um, now it's easy to basically animate the field of view so in your update function the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a uh, animation I'm gonna say cam dot camera dot field of view is math if dot lerp now I'm gonna explain this right now I just want to write everything down first it has a start point an end point and a lerp which is like a time cursor so basically what math f is is it contains a lot of calculations that you can do there's also math i for integers and math d for doubles so this is only for a floating point value because field of view all it is is a float a floating point value so first i'll have to initialize these and i'm gonna do it like this private float now you have to give a starting point and you have to give an ending point because that's how you animate something with a lerp it asks for a start point and an end point and a lerp so the start point I'm gonna initialize to 60 
because that's where it starts if you go look at the field of view over here this starts at 60 and end point let me just quickly show you something over here when you go in in the game mode you can change these values like this so the top is 179 so I'm gonna make that value uh, 179 lerp always has to start with uh, 0 because it's a time cursor the best way to start is from the beginning so the last variable you'll need is a duration and I'm gonna call I'm just gonna make this um, 0 0.5 f uh, by the way if you don't know this in C sharp to make a floating point value when it's a decimal like 0 0.5 then you have to add an f now this on its own will do nothing because lerp stays at zero and and as i told you uh, lerp is um it's a, it's like a time cursor it has to be incremented so the way i'm going to increment it is i'm going to say lerp plus equals time dot delta time divided by duration and you might as well um you might as well memorize this because this is a very important thing you'll always use this when animating anything whether it's a vector like a position or a rotation or or anything anything you animate this is the code that you would probably use so if I test this right now it should work but there's something that I forgot you have to add this onto the portal so I'm gonna select portal and then I'm going to add this script over there. So there it is. And if I run the script right now, then it should animate. There you go. So, but the problem is it's animating directly. And that's not what you want. You want to trigger this animation. And the way you're going to do this is um, with a function that is called onTriggerEnter. Now, in your portal, this capsule collider with is trigger if this is um, true if is trigger is true then you can use this function so the way you're going to use this is you're going to say public void on trigger enter and it takes a parameter like that uh, I'm just going to name it call now what this function does is every time that you enter, if anything enters this collision, this, um, this object, then this function will execute. So you want to filter that out. So you're going to say if the collider.gameObject.name.equals character. So if this collider that is currently colliding with um, with the portal is named the character then this um, will execute now I'm gonna make a new boolean variable which I'm gonna call um, inside portal private bool inside portal is false now when the um, when the character collides with the portal then this needs to become true in the update function you have to say if the if this boolean is true then then the the animation should happen like this so if you test it right now it should work there you go so that's how you make the portal uh, just so by the way you might want to um, add a type of a sound to it so what I have over here is a sound th uh, that sounds like this so this audio source now you can uh, enable and it's gonna take use it's gonna make use of the Doppler effect if you know what the Doppler effect is, if well, if you don't know what the Doppler effect is, then you've never watched the Big Bang Theory. But um, yes, so I've just enabled this on the portal, and surprisingly enough, this sound 
was actually made by my own mouth. <laughs> it's amazing what uh, multimedia, what the multimedia can, course can do. <laughs> it's a lot of potential. And anyway, so if I play this right now. Did you hear that? It sounds pretty cool. So thank you for watching. If you've got some time, you should download the game. It's called Sam by What If Studios and play the game and maybe give us feedback. It would even help if you give us a like on Facebook or something. So have a nice day. What if tutorials